Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, my Virgos. Welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. I missed you guys. Mwah. Give me love kisses back or hug emojis. Okay, virtual hugs, guys. I hope you all are doing well and I miss y'all. It feels like it's been a long time, but I'm back with another Virgo reading, okay? So let's get started. I don't wanna to talk too much. So those who are new to my channel, my name is Felicia. I'm from New York and I do tarot. So let's get into some messages with you, okay, for you guys. True emotional oracle cards, okay? Take whatever resonates and please discard what doesn't. It could be for somebody else, okay? And the readings are timeless. So for some of you, this may be happening now. It could be happening in the near future. It could have already happened. But um, I'm going to try to gain some information on current love situations at this time and what you need to know, okay, guys? So let's see. My current love situations for Virgos at this time, what is it that they need to know? Current love situations at this time for my Virgo Collective. What is it that they need to know, Spirit? Current love situations at this time for my Virgo Collective. What is it that they need to know? Current love situations at this time for my Virgo Collective. What is it that they need to know? Current love situations at this time for my Virgo Collective. What is it that they need to know? One last shuffle. Current love situations for my Virgo Collectives at this time. What is it that they need to know? Okay, so we have sex addiction, Okay. I don't know if this came out in your last reading or Scorpio or Sag. One of y'all got this, okay? So maybe there's somebody here who's dealing with a sex addiction in your relationship. Okay, this could be a karmic twin flame for some of you guys. Tell me more about what's going on currently in Virgo's love situations at this time. There's a divine masculine here. What is currently going on in their relationships at this time? Somebody's fucked up over you here. What is currently going on in Virgo's current love situations at this time? Secret accounts. Maybe somebody's making secret accounts to spy on somebody. Whether it's you, Virgo, or somebody else, take wherever the energy applies. And I'm an energy person, okay? So you have to go according to the energy. Whatever you feel resonates with you and whatever you feel could resonate for the other person. If you feel like the person's not outreaching to you or they're not showing much communication and you feel strongly towards them and you want to communicate with them, it's more likely than not that it's your energy, okay? But I'm going to see if I can see more than one energy here, okay? So tell me what is currently going on in Virgo's love situation at this time for my Virgo Collective. What is currently going on in their love situations at this time? Virgo Collective. What is going on in their current love situations at this time for my Virgo Collective? One more card. Current love situations. Okay. And like I always like to say, I hope you all are doing fantabulous out there. Fantastic. It's a beautiful day on the East Coast. Beautiful weather today. And I'm feeling it. Okay. <laughs> and I hope it's beautiful where you are as well. So it says GPS. Mm, somebody's like tracking something here in this relationship. Somebody might be tracking you, especially with this secret accounts card and this GPS. Somebody's definitely kind of like stalking or tracking you, somebody in this situation, okay? Because they feel like somebody's up to no good. And I feel like you should definitely, um, if, your if your intuition is telling you, that this person's up to no good and you have to use GPS tracking and make face fake accounts. The truth is that your intuition's right. Okay? Your intuition is right. And then we have a jackass in this, situ in this situation, okay? Um, everybody's been pulling the jackass card, but I feel like that's a lot of people's situations. We all deal with some jackass at some point in our life, right? <laughs> um, I also got a new card in the mail yesterday, so I'm excited to use it for you guys as well. Just to get a couple more messages. This is called the Broken Mirror Oracle Cards. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Spirit, please tell me what is currently going on in Virgo's love situations at this time. What is currently going on for Virgos in their love situation at this time? What is currently going on for Virgos in their current love situations at this time? Virgo Collective, what is currently going on in their current love situations at this time? Current love situations at this time for my Virgo Collective, what is going on? 
current love situations for my Virgo collective at this time. What is going on? Okay, I'm going to take three cards from this one. Okay, so the first card was hurting. I just did um, Sag's reading. So if you are dealing with a Sag, that could resonate. It doesn't have to be a Sag though, a Sagittarius. So somebody's hurting in this situation, okay? Um, somebody may be crying a lot, feeling depressed, feeling the pain and sorrow in this relationship. Okay, and we have intimacy, passion, coming into union, chemistry, missing you. Okay, so um, maybe this could have been a breakup for some of you guys or recent disconnect from somebody. It could have been a twin flame situation for some of y'all. Okay, so somebody's passion coming into union. Um, they share this level of intimacy with you, a, a deep chemistry with you. There's conflict resolution here. Compromising, making amends, positive outcome. Oh, okay, that's positive. Positive, positive. <laughs> so somebody wants to make um, amends. It's like somebody wants to resolve some kind of conflict. So we'll clarify some of these cards here, but there's definitely somebody who's tracking or stalking somebody here that's definite because we got two of the same kind of cards here there's a divine mas masculine energy here and somebody's definitely going through the motions here they're fucked up over you if this was a recent disconnect a divorce or um a breakup all right so let's see i pre-shuffled off camera what is currently going on in um Virgo's love situation. How is this person feeling towards Virgo at this time in their current love situation? How is this person feeling towards Virgo at this time in their current love situation? Ooh, they're feeling heartbroken. First card out. They are feeling heartbroken. They're feeling heartbroken. This could have been a higher level of commitment for you guys. Somebody you saw growth and stability with. Doesn't necessarily have to be somebody you had a family with, but somebody that you thought you could create this family life with. Okay, one second, babies. One second, y'all. Okay, so somebody's feeling heartbroken here over this Ten of Pentacles dynamic. Okay, For, um, family stability life that they saw with you. Why is this person feeling heartbroken at this time in Virgo's love situation? Why are they feeling heartbroken at this time in Virgo's love situation? Why are they feeling heartbroken at this time in Virgo's love situation? Because there was a tower moment, a sudden change of something, a, a sudden dynamic that changed the course of this whole relationship. Somebody's waiting for love here. Somebody's waiting for love. Or a new opportunity with love with you. And some of them are just turning their back on the past and they're looking for a new love opportunity at this time. So tell me more about this tower moment for um, Virgo's love situation. What is this tower moment? Tell me more about this tower energy for Virgo's. What is this tower for Virgo's love situation at this time? What is this tower for Virgo's love situation at this time? What is this tower for Virgo's love situation at this time? What is this tower? Yeah, somebody decided to part ways and move on. Somebody's thinking about a conflict that you guys had that could have included third parties um, or it could have been in regards to somebody's habits with that seven of cups. Maybe somebody was over drinking or um, having the sexual addiction here with the seven of cups, engaging in different vices. Okay, somebody decided to disconnect and move on with this tower. Tell me more about what's currently going on. How is this person feeling towards Virgo and this love situation? How are they currently feeling towards Virgo and this love situation? Queen of Wands. They see, they, they're attracted to you. They're heavily attracted to you. Some of you are more attractive now. Maybe you're working on your fitness, whether you're a man or a female. Um, you're working on your fitness. You're looking good. You're smelling good. You're looking good. You're feeling good. And they like that about you, okay? They're, they get turned on by you. They get turned on a lot. But that page of wands is like, ooh, she's so beautiful. He's so delicious. Somebody's just so passionate about you, okay? Tell me more about how they're feeling with this Queen of Wands energy for Virgos. They don't know about something. Somebody's confused or they're going back and forth about something here. 
What are they going back and forth about in Virgo's love situation? What are they going back and forth about? If they want a higher level commitment with you or they still want this commitment with you or this home life, this community that they shared with you. Some of you may have lived with this person. Somebody's indecisive about this connection that you have. Why are they indecisive at this time about your connection for Virgos? Why are they indecisive about this connection? Because the sun, something was revealed or somebody just wants to be happy. Yeah, somebody told the truth about something with the queen of swords to the sun. Somebody told the truth about something. Somebody made it clear about something. What did this person make it clear about in Virgo's love situation? What did they make it clear about? That they want to focus on their own growth and stability with this Queen of Pentacles energy. They're starting to realize their self-worth in this situation. Somebody's moving very cautiously because they felt betrayed, okay? And there's somebody who's very held back because they're healing at this time. And somebody's feeling like mentally stuck. They feel like they can't move in this situation. Why is it that they're feeling mentally stuck in Virgo's love situation at this time? Why are they feeling mentally stuck in Virgo's love situation at this time? Why are they feeling mentally stuck? Yeah, they, they're feeling mentally stuck with having a new beginning. Okay? They're waiting to have one. But something's preventing them from moving forward. So what's preventing them from moving forward for Virgo's love situation? What is preventing them from moving forward with this full energy? Somebody became inactive or they're thinking about it. Somebody's thinking about taking action. Um, somebody's rushing in to communicate with you about something that's dormant, something that's not active, something that's not working here. Something probably ended or something came to a standstill. What is happening? What is this Four of Swords energy for Virgo's current love situation? What is this Four of Swords energy for Virgo's current love situation? What is this Four of Swords energy? What is this Four of Swords energy for Virgo's current love situation? Somebody's thinking of working on something. What are they thinking of working on? What are they thinking of working on in Virgo's love situation? Something that's toxic. Toxic codependency. Maybe somebody's words or their thoughts are toxic. The way they think is toxic. Or they just feel a toxic codependency with you. They're trying to, I feel like somebody's trying to break free of this toxicity. Tell me more about this devil energy in Virgo's love situation. What is this devil energy in Virgo's love situation? What is this devil energy in Virgo's love situation? What is this? Somebody wants to change their ways, I feel. What is this devil energy? Somebody wants to move away from it. They want to move towards calmer waters, towards peace, maybe to new romantic adventures. Okay, tell me more about the six, six of swords energy. Some of you may have lived at a distance or live at a distance from this person or it takes um, some time for you to get to this person. It's not like a short trip, not like a go across the street for some of you guys. But for the six of swords, it's just like trying to move towards peace, happiness, calmer waters. Tell me more about the six of swords energy for Virgos in their current love situation. Some of you are moving away from this toxicity. Tell me more about the Six of Swords energy for Virgo's current love situation. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody's taking action here. Okay, somebody wants to break the silence. If there, there was an ending here, somebody wants victory. Or they're being victorious and successful on their own after an ending. Somebody went ghost. And there's somebody here who's trying to rush in to break communication here. Because they see somebody's pull back Virgo. This is a Virgo card. So maybe you, Virgo, pull back your energy from this person. And this person, this Knight of Swords energy, wants to kind of break this communication. They want to come in fast with some kind of sudden communication. And sometimes the sudden communication could be very harsh, abrasive, depending, depending on the person you're dealing with. But the Knight of Swords for me is typically somebody who's angry. Um, so what is this person angry about? Or what are they rushing in to say with this Knight of Swords energy for Virgo? They feel like there's some unfinished business with this world, okay? They feel like something was not balanced or equal. Something wasn't successful here. And somebody looks like they want to do some damage control. They're rushing in because they feel like there's some unfinished business. What is this, unfi what is this unfinished business in Virgo's love connection at this time? Yeah, somebody feels like they got betrayed or somebody uh, walked away from them and they feel betrayed by this. They feel abandoned. 
somebody's holding back at this time because they're trying to heal because they feel immensely stuck at this time what was this betrayal in virgo's love situation at this time what is this betrayal the emperor what did this emperor this divine masculine the emperor what did this divine masculine do in virgo's love situation what did they do what did this person do what did this person do in their connection for Virgos? What did this person do? They decided to focus on their own growth and stability and going after new romantic adventures. Some of them are looking into new opportunities here. They made a final decision about something um, that they want to break the ties with something that's toxic. Some of you um, received some communication or you're going to receive some communication. Oh, what, was, what was this Ace of Swords about for Virgo's love situation? What was this Ace of Swords energy? What was this Ace of Swords energy? Yeah, somebody told the truth about something or they said something that was very harsh with the Emperor. They could have been very hurtful with their words. And it left somebody stressed out and hurt and mentally wrapped up in their feelings. They're carrying this emotional burden. It, they find it, they're finding it hard to move over. They feel like there's a lot of conflict here. And somebody's being very cautious and they're feeling very guarded because somebody was focused more on their own wish fulfillment. What well, is Nine of Cups energy, which could have been the sexual addiction that this person's having. There's definitely third party, maybe with this Five of Wands and the Five of Swords, could speak of third party influences. And this Nine of Cups. So tell me more about this Nine of Cups energy for Virgo's current love situation. Tell me more that's about this Nine of Cups energy for Virgo's current love situation. Some of you are just trying to find fulfillment on your own and you withdrew from the situation. King of Cups, okay? Um, somebody's like not trusting you and they're watching somebody here. Somebody's watching someone here. Water energy. We have air energy and water energy. Somebody sees that somebody pulled back their energy or they're being held back at this time. And somebody, it could be you, Virgo. If you're the one who's held back, they're watching you. Why is this person watching the King of Cups for Virgo's love situation? Why are they watching them? You see that that with that stalking card. There's a stalker here for sure. Because they're very emotional. This is the counterpart to the King of Cups. So we have the King and the Queen of Cups. Somebody is very emotional here. They're trying to hold back from the situation. But they're waiting. They're, they're trying to turn their back because they feel defeated. If you're like a wounded warrior, tell me more about this Queen of Cups energy for Virgo's current love situation. Why is this person emotional at this time? Why is this person emotional in Virgo's connection at this time? Why are they very emotional in regards to Virgo's connection at this time? Why are they very emotional? Somebody's guarded or feels the need to stand their ground. Yeah, somebody's very guarded, super guarded here. With the Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, somebody super guarded. Why is this person super guarded at this time in Virgo's love situation? Why are they being very cautious or protective of themselves at this time in Virgo's love situation? Why are they being very guarded and protective of themselves at this time? Because they want to be happy. Okay? With this Ten of Cups. What is this Ten of Cups for Virgo's current love situation? Strength. Yeah, strength to move forward. After, it could have been a divorce for some of you guys. But somebody made it clear that they don't want to have a reconciliation or work on things anymore. Somebody just wants to move forward. And even though it's hard for them to disconnect, if this could have been a higher level of commitment or somebody you saw a family life with, they feel like they need to hold back at this time and start afresh. But somebody's having a hard time with having a new beginning in love. Um, somebody's starting to understand their their um their self worth at this time. Some of you disconnected because there was a tower moment that caught you that got you all stuck in your head, emotional, maybe some sleepless nights. First card that came out was somebody's feeling heartbroken. So I definitely see this heartbroken pain. Somebody's very devastated that things are over. Um, and honestly, what I'm feeling is that there's a separate energy here. Um, whoever's feeling the more emotional one about the situation, there's the person has mutual love for you because we saw the queen and king of cups. But for some of you guys, the queen and the 
king of cups could mean that you have the most emotions you were the one carrying the love in this relationship and you're highly emotional that you weren't getting all the um rewards at the end from this love situation okay because this person fucked you over in some way okay um so i feel like this could be one person's energy but i do feel another energy here that does care about you i'm not saying that they don't love you there's somebody that does love you or have strong feelings towards you uh, romantic feelings but somebody's more self-centered they're more focused on their own growth and stability chasing after dick chasing after pussy having their fun trying to live a good life even if they were in a marriage some of them are trying to resolve a conflict here or maybe you might want to resolve this conflict um but i don't know let's see what is the sex what is the sex addiction in virgo's love connection what is the sex the sex addiction. I don't know why I can't say it. The sex addiction. Yeah, the sex addiction caused a tower moment. Caused a sudden destruction of a foundation that wasn't built on solid ground with this tower. Tell me more about this tower for the sex addiction. That was the downfall of the relationship. Yeah, that left somebody very emotional. Um, somebody's waiting for somebody to communicate with them. Or they're watching somebody's every move here. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody's stressed out that they decided to focus on their own, themselves and their own wishes. And what they wanted to do in this love dynamic. And somebody's waiting for somebody to communicate with them here. Somebody's very emotional that things went wrong. That this caused the destruction of somebody's relationship with the sex addiction. There was definitely some kind of sexual addiction for some of you guys not all of you so don't take it personal don't kill the person that you're tied to okay that's just the energy i'm getting if you follow me then i might be picking up on somebody who's following me who watches my videos so it could be applicable for some of you but don't take it too personal if you don't feel like it's your situation there's a divine masculine here maybe somebody wants control or they feel like i'm the man so i could do whatever whatever i want you know i you know this is what men do or a woman do you know, I, but I'm just feeling strong masculine energy. Somebody feels like, oh, I'm a man, so I could do whatever I want. You can't tell me not to be a man. You know, that kind of attitude, that toxic max masculinity. Somebody's definitely going through the motions here. I see that with this fucked up over you card. Conflict resolution, compromising, making amends, positive outcome. So some of you are going to be able to resolve this conflict in the near future, or you're working on this conflict. Somebody's definitely hurting here. There's definitely stalker energies here, okay? So if you feel like somebody's watching you or if you are the one doing it, please stop. This is not cute. If you feel the need to go to this precaution, if this is somebody you're married to, okay, I understand that you want to get more information, but the best way to get information is to get a, have a direct communication with them. Or if you've been seeing the red flags, some of you, I feel like you've seen the red flags. You've seen the text messages. You smelt the perfume. You smell even the coochie or the dick or something on somebody. You've seen it. Or you've seen that, that lipstick stain or that makeup stain. You've seen it. And they always make some kind of lie. They gaslight you. And you still take it for whatever reason. Some of you are not happy about that. Okay? This person didn't care. They were being a jackass. Some of you need to realize that. Um, some of you are restoring this intimacy with this conflict resolution card, okay? Passion coming into union, okay? So some of you in the near future, or maybe some of you are actively working towards this now with through marital counseling or, you know, things of that nature. So if that's what's happening, that's great. But if you are the one tracking and try to keep tabs on this person, please let it go because it's just going to hurt you more. It's just going to keep hurting you. Okay, so these are the cards I received. Okay, so if anything resonates, you can always comment down below or just say hi. Hi, Felicia. What's up, girl? I see you out here. You know, spread some love. Um, I wanted to try one more Oracle cards for those who are interested in their career and some love messages as well. Um, just additional love messages. I just wanted to try it with you guys since I have a little bit of time. I didn't go over time. I'm still at 24 minutes, 25 minutes. So let's get into this one. Okay, so this is called the Clarifying Life Situations, Love and Career Readings, Oracle Messages, okay? These are my new Oracle cards. I just got them yesterday, so you guys will be the first. Very girls, feel special, feel special. You can always guarantee I'll make you feel special. <laughs> 
But I will give you the real, guys. Honestly, if I feel like something's toxic and you need to let it go, I'm going to give you my piece. But you don't need to take my advice. You don't. All right. What is it that Virgos need to know at this time? What is it that my Virgos need to know at this time? What is it that Virgos need to know at this time? What is it that my Virgo Collective needs to know at this time? Okay, I'm going to take four cards and see what we have here. And they have messages on both sides, so I read it as the way it comes out. So it says, Sky of Clarity. Soar into the boundless sky of clarity, where insights are infinite, are as infinite as the azure, azure expanses, A-Z-U-R-E. I don't know what that is, expanses, okay? So some of you are just getting clarity or, or you're seeking clarity, clarity with that GPS card by tracking this person, which is not the right way. The right way to seek clarity is to have communication, okay? So we have crystal of clarity, a lot of clarity cards. So a lot of you are getting clarity about something. So illuminate your path with openness and insight Reading yourself for a new found understanding of contents. Readying yourself for a new found understanding of contents. So a lot of clarity cards here. So some of you are gaining clarity about something. Or will be in the near future. Then we have um, on the mend. Be, com be compassionate and kind to yourself as you heal your heart. So be compassionate to yourself, okay? Practice self-love. Heal this broken heart. It's beautiful. It's always going to be beautiful. You just need to mend it. And then we have no illusions. Stay grounded in truth. A lot of clarity cards here. Stay grounded in truth. Embracing reality with clarity. Another clarity card. So this is a stress. This is the main thing. I might even put something with clarity in this title for Virgos. Stay grounded in truth. Embracing reality with clarity clarity and wisdom to navigate life's journey authentically okay stop creating these fantasies these illusions get right seek clarity you some of you gain the clarity or you know what to do and you're just not doing it okay three clarity cards so definitely clarity is just for all of you okay some of you have got the clarity and you disconnected which is great and some of you still are stuck so you need to gain clarity now guys and I'm just going to pull some love oracle messages for some of you guys who are interested about how somebody may be feeling towards you at this time for those in a love situation. Um, so tell me, Spirit, what is going on for Virgo's current love situation at this time? How are they feeling towards this person? Virgo's love situations at this time. What is it that someone needs to say for Virgo's love situations at this time? My Virgo collective, what is it that this person needs to say to them? For Virgo Collective, what is it that this person wants to say to them? Virgo Collective, what is it that this person wants to say to them? Virgo Collective, what is it that this person wants to say to them? Mm. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this card first because I saw the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups which I thought were like the sex addiction card or like engaging in different vices. So this is it, okay? For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who has drug and alcohol issue, whether it's you or somebody else that you're dealing with. Somebody wants out. I want out. Don't put up with my BS. Somebody's telling you this or you're telling somebody this. Don't put up with my BS. The passion is too much. Okay, maybe the passion may be good. The sex is good, but sex can't keep a relationship for those who need to know or be reminded. Drama. This thing is drama for some of you guys. It's drama. Period. <laughs> drama. Period. You see? <laughs> it's period. Drama. I can't make a decision. Okay? So if this helps anybody, I hope it helps. You can always comment down below. Or, you know, I know some people don't like to hear negative news or hear that somebody may not be interested in them the way that they may feel um but you know your situation the best and i trust that the people who watch this video are going to make the right decision for themselves 
like I said, if I didn't say in this video, if you came upon this video, even if you're a cross watcher or you just happen to have clicked on this video, there's a message here for you, okay? And I hope you guys really actually take this message because I'm not one of those candy coating um, tower readers who's just going to say, oh, love is on your way. This person wants you back. They have so much love for you. Yes, they may have a lot of love for you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that somebody wants to be with you. There's a total difference with that situation okay guys so please use your own discernment in all case scenarios all the time guys and peace and love to you all blessings thank you guys for watching this video much love and if you would like to see more readings from me you need to comment down below show some engagement and i will provide another video this week okay guys thank you guys for watching